Hey everybody, this is Video Wolf with another episode of WTF Games You've Never Played. Today we're going to discuss Evo, The Search of Eden, released by Enix in 1993. Now a lot of people know of the game called Spore for the PC. What they don't realize is that a majority of Spore's ideas came from this game for the Super Nintendo. The storyline's pretty basic. The sun goes up to Gaia, which is basically Earth, and says, we are going to allow you to have life. And this life is going to go by the principles of survival of the fittest. So, this is Evo, Search for Eden. We're going to start up a new game and show you basically how this very innovative, very creative game plays out. Now here's Gaia basically telling you, okay, you're going to start off in basically the ocean phase of this game. It says, oh, you're already a fish. It took three billion years for your body to evolve. Be careful and good luck. So, apparently from what I've read, there are about six to eight chapters. I'm not really sure about that. I haven't gotten that far yet. But here's chapter one, the ocean. And we're going to start everything up. We got a nice little mini map, sort of like Super Mario World. And we're going to try out level one. <clears throat> and you got a little cute little fish. And, you know, like you see in Spore, you can eat plants. And, oh, we got a jellyfish. He's welcoming you to the world. And explains the rules of survival of the fittest. And what should we do with a creature that welcomes us? We eat them. Again, like I was saying uh, before I was interrupted, this game has basically is the invention for Spore. As you see, when you kill creatures, you get a chunk of meat, just like you do in the Spore games. And every time you eat something, you get these little things called Evo points. Those are the white numbers that pop up. And you use your Evo points to evolve certain body parts. You got jaws, horns, bodies, and we're going to upgrade uh, we're going to upgrade my dorsal fin right now. There we go. This is the only thing I can afford. And as you can see, boom. There you go. I got a little yellow dorsal fin that allows me to swim a little faster. Now, as you play through the game, you run across these crystals. I have no idea what green crystals do, but yellow crystals, like the one I just ate, basically gives you little tutorial lessons. And this red crystal right here shows you what you can evolve into after a lot of dedication and time. Unfortunately, that is something I really don't have, so I never actually got to this point. As you see, you got yourself a little moray eel thing going on here. Much stronger, but it only lasts a few seconds before it's like, okay, enough of that. Go back to your weak, pathetic self. I want to try another evolution technique right here. Now what's really cool is um, you can increase your body size to make yourself stronger. It increases your life. You can do all sorts of other little tricks like I'm going to show you in one moment after I kill this little bugger. <clears throat> get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. And uh, we're going to evolve a, uh, a horn now, which is a primary weapon. But to be completely honest, these things are one of the most useless aspects of the game. Because you can only use your horn for a short time. Now you see I'm doing major damage, but after using it twice it broke. So as we go through the game, we're going to see other creatures evolving faster than you are. We're going to try assaulting him. Oh, 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 no, run! Move, move! Well, it's obvious that I'm completely incapable of beating him. So what we're going to do is one of the most fun things in gaming history. We are going to grind! Now, to save everybody the... the insanity of grinding. I'm going to speed up the video, so just sit back and enjoy the, the humor. <laughs> I should have put some Benny Hill music in the background. That would have been great. 
Now, this is the only issue I've seen with this game. You're going to spend a lot of time grinding. And I'm talking about hours upon hours. But let's skip ahead and go to the dinosaur era. As you see now, I'm some weird polka dotted thing. I don't know what the hell I am. And it looks like, you know, things are doing great. You know, I'm getting tons of things. But again, we have to grind. Keep going, keep going. And we want to try adjusting the body. We want to tr let's go for a, a trans. Transaurus Rex look. Let's go for a two. And and now I'm a long neck Barney. Great. But as you can see, I'm running faster. I could jump higher. And there are boss battles in the game. Uh, we're going to introduce you to this boss really fast. That's a giant frog that... That... But... But... but no, one... Well, when I said fast, I didn't mean that. But yeah, that's Evo. Um, pretty much that's really all there is to the game. You just keep grinding and you keep evolving. And while it might turn off a lot of players because of the slow play pace, it's what, personally one of my favorite games. And it's about between $50 to $80 on eBay. And there you go. Spore on the Super Nintendo. Evo, The Search of Eden. Thank you very much, and that's been this month's WTF Games You've Never Played.